Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Takasi here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. So, in this video, guys, let's talk about a few things. So, first off, we got the expected content schedule, as well as the overall, um, you know, some reveals. We did get the a sneak peek at the weekly wild cards coming tomorrow, as well as an article that Riz could be highlighting some big changes potentially coming to EA Sports uh, very, very soon overall, as, not just as a company, but mainly as a uh, development team for uh, the Madden franchise. So, but if you guys do like this type of content and want to see more, I do ask that you guys hit the like button below and the red subscribe button if you so desire, as both things are very helpful in the algorithm. Uh, if you also could leave a uh, comment as well and turn on post notifications, all of those things are very helpful. And that way you never, and also with the notifications, you never miss it when I go live or, or upload a video because I am considering going live uh, on YouTube, coming back to YouTube for streaming. I have not fully decided on that yet, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll figure, I'll figure it out soon. But we did have get the expected content schedule this morning. So we got it from, uh, you know, here, this is a, uh, by the way, shout out to Metality on this um, link in the Twitter is the description. Uh, so we've got Good Morning Madden tomorrow morning and Wednesday morning. I will make a video going over the weekly wild cards and also the Gridiron Guardians 2 Part 2 reveal. Um, we also got the AK of the new class today with Burrow, uh, with Burrow, uh, Sertain, and Eddie Jackson. Uh, we also, again, weekly wild cards, Gridiron Guardians, and Ultimate Legends. Uh, so here is the wild card that they showcased uh, today. They did, went with the George Pickens. Notice how this is not an LTD. This is actually a standout card. Uh, I believe this is a regular team standout uh for the uh Steelers so definitely did not reveal the LTD which I found surprising now who knows maybe this is just a bit of a mess up and they forgot to put LTD at the bottom which they did do with the end of first batch of NFL honors um so who knows it could be uh an LTD uh and then here is the image for the other te uh, teasers I'm guessing we've got a, maybe a Buccaneer here um a Raider I would guess a Bill and then right here I'm gonna guess a Cleveland Brown uh, as I think this one probably is going to be like Joel Batonio for heavyweights because, uh, to my knowledge, and I didn't even know this until I was making my team of the year vote until I was doing my team of the year voting, he ended up, uh, he has not gotten an upgrade basically all year. So, which I found very interesting. Uh, anyway, so moving on, let's talk about this article here where you have big changes that could ultimately be coming to EA sports video game and video game that could make or break the franchise. So, uh, for years, fans have been highly critical of EA Sports because of how bad Madden is. Year after year, the company has failed to address the fans' criticism. That would be an understatement. You know, last couple years, we've had people complaining that zones are completely garbage, which I agree with. Uh, we also have, you know, things like abilities sometimes just straight up do not work as intended. Um, you know, overall, I think another one this year that was a big problem that at least I had was the lack of quality of good, you know, offensive playbooks this year. Like, for me personally, the best, better offensive playbooks, you got teams like the Bronc, not the Broncos, the Lions, um, you know, the, um, I think that's really it, like the Lions, I'm literally blank and blanking here, um, but me personally, I'm back and forth between like the Broncos and the Packers offense, because I do think that is a very good offensive uh, scheme overall. Uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of, you know, lack of innovation with those. And then we have also some other screw ups that they do actually do mention in this article. So, uh, but that all could be changing. According to insider gaming, EA sports is considering Madden NFL 24 to be a make or break year for the 35 year old franchise. Here's how one source described it to insider gaming. The discount for players who lost their franchise is only the beginning. EA has big plans for Madden 24 and the engagement of the game knows how big of a year it is, not just for the future of the game, but the future in their position. So basically, to summarize, jobs could be on the line if Madden 24 is not at least a positive recently received game, which, quite honestly, I would not expect it to be a positively received game, uh, just because of the fact that this is EA Sports we're talking about here. They, they just don't know what they're fucking doing. And I think, personally, it is just stuff from at the very top. I do think there's just a lot of problems uh, overall that just make this game unable to be what it should be because Madden should be better than what it is. I think we all know this. Uh, it's just sad because with how this game is and how this game plays, I, it's just so frustrating to me that the game is the way it is because this game could be so much better, but it's not.
Uh, the report adds that if next year's Maddens encounter similar issues to the most recent game, there will be, quote, a lot of changes among the game's leadership. Over the past few months, many gamers expressed frustration and outrage over technical issues related to the game and the connected franchise mode, which, yes, so if you guys are new to the community and do not know what this is, basically what happened is around Christmas time, I think about mid-December, people's franchises just started getting corrupted and even flat out deleted, and it got to a point where franchise mode was just literally unplayable, like, because you would probably get your franchise deleted or corrupted. And it was so bad that EA basically had to issue discounts to those who were affected. Uh, and they only unfortunately could store 40% of the files, as you see here. Developers for the game posted an apology form and noted about 40% of the files would be recovered. So basically, like 60% of files were unable to be recovered in any way, shape, or form. It's finally nice to see EA Sports starts to listen to gamers and who have been screaming for changes to the franchise. Let's see if EA holds up their end of the bargain, which... Again, as I said, I don't think they will because this is EA Sports we're talking about. They just don't know what they're doing or just don't care to know what they're doing. So I hope EA does actually make changes because ultimately that is all we ever want as a community. That's all we ever should want as a community is just change. And if that means, you know, people getting fired in order to incentivize change, then at, at this point, I'm all for it because the, the way the state of the game is, it is completely unacceptable, especially this year, especially this year with things like offensive line blocking being completely garbage, uh, you know, D, uh, zones just either straight up just don't even play anything or they just get ran right by. You also have, you know, fucking, you know, all the whole bunch of bug issues. And then, you know, even like without mentioning those, you got like the comp pass and the season pass issues throughout the year it's been a mess it has been a huge disaster madden 23 has definitely been a bit of bit a huge disaster overall of a game um and so i do think that absolutely things need to be done uh for this but that is all i'm going to talk about with the video guys as quite honestly there really isn't much more to this article i'll leave a link to this article and another one that probably goes into more detail on this if i could find it in the description below uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. And then once again, if you guys did, hit the subscribe button below and also leave a like. Um, Twitch.tv slash Jadabro95 is where I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, so if you guys want to head over there and drop a follow, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but until then, I'll see you next time. Oh, peace.